morning. It is first week of how long have I been in college? It's been first week of second year of college. So I'm a sophomore. Sophomore in college. It is our spring semester now. So Javen's at USF. I'm still at HCC. This is my last year. My last year at HCC. Or semester. Technically it's the same thing. But after this semester, I'm going to be transferring to USF on my fuse track. A little nervous, but excited to finally just be going to USF. After they told me no. It's a funny story. When I first started applying to colleges, I applied to UCF and USF. UCF I got put on the wait list, but I didn't get in. And then I heard back from USF and they said, no, we don't want you, but go to HCC for this, these two years and then we'll take you. So that's what I did. I've already been to um, my classes earlier this week. I just wanted to focus and scope lane. Focus on getting to school, focus on getting my studies for the first day at least. And so now that I've been to my classes for one one day, because I'm only doing the on campus twice a week. Oh, I'm not gonna make that late. I'm taking four classes online, or three classes online, and two on campus. But the two technically count as, the two is technically one, but it counts as two. That's what it is, because it's a lab and a science class. I needed a lab to graduate from HCC. It's like one of the HCC's uh, prerequisites and stuff, like recommendations. What is it called? Necessities? Requirements? Yeah, HCC, you need a lab and you need to take public speaking. Public speaking was alright, but if I had gone straight to USF and done four years there, my major doesn't require me to take public speaking, but since I went to HCC first, I need public speaking. But it was fun. The professor was cool. That was all last semester, though, so. This semester, it seems like it's going to be a lot of work, but the beginning is chill. I could take uh, notes all online, like on my MacBook, so. Maybe I'll be partly paperless. I had my seat, it was perfect. It was by the door, but still where you could see the, uh, the projector. Because the door is on the right side of the classroom and the projector is this gigantic like projector screen, like old school on the left side of the classroom in a corner. And I sat in the middle. But he said, if you're using a laptop to take notes, that's fine, but you have to sit on the edge. And it was either the edge by the projector before away from the door or the edge by the door and far away from the projector. Um, I chose, I'm gonna choose by the door because I like to get out of my classrooms. Hopefully the person seat I take for this one day, cause we have, no one's really claimed seats yet. So I'm gonna just get to class early, sit in the seat and then keep doing that for like the next week to where it will be my seat, so no one takes it. But I really loved my seat that I was just in. After uh, Javen gets out of his classes at like three, yeah, he gets out of class at 3.15, something like that. And I get out of my class at 2.40, so I only have like 30, is that 30 minutes? No, because there's a five. I don't know. After so many minutes of me waiting on my campus, we're going to meet at his house, and then we're going to go to International Mall, and maybe during that, we'll get to hear more about how his, his classes have been at USF. So on Tuesday, I bought a bunch of textbooks for my classes. One of the textbooks I bought, though, actually, it wasn't even a textbook. It was just a book. And one of the books that I bought... Um, I'm pretty sure I got charged the wrong price because I looked at the receipt and I was like, there's no way this is how much it, you know, it's supposed to be. 
Now, no, that's not what I saw in the bookstore. So, uh, today I went back and I had to buy another book anyway. So it, it wasn't a big deal to me. So I, I got the book I needed. I checked and the, the tag said that the book was $6 because it was used and it was just a little book. It wasn't a textbook. I got charged $12 for it. So I'm like, okay, when I go up, when I, when I go up there, I'm going to tell them that I got charged the wrong price. Maybe they'll deduct it from the book I'm buying right now. Mm -hmm. So I wait in line. It was a long line. It wasn't as long as it was on Tuesday though. And they had like less cashiers, definitely still like around 10 or so. So I tell the girl that, hey, this is what happened. Um, can you fix it here? She said, no, you're gonna have to go to my manager to do that, but I'll go ahead and ring this book out for you right now. So I said, okay. I buy the book and I get into the manager line and there's like two other people in front of me in that line. And the the lady's like confused why there's a line at her, her register. And so I just explained to her like what happened and she was like, okay, you're good there. So then um, there's another girl who's right next to the manager lady on her register and she's taking returns and so she asked me if I'm doing returns and I said no and all these people keep going to her because they're doing returns and then after this lady like spends 10 minutes with one person I don't know what his problem was but after after he's done she she leaves and she goes to help someone else which is fine I get it she's the manager she has to help people and then um, she comes back helps the next girl then leaves again and then I'm waiting there and I'm waiting there and pretty much she never comes back because she just gets too busy with other registers. So I go to the return person and I'm like, is there any way we can do this here? Because I've been waiting here for longer than I've been waiting in the regular, longer than I was waiting in the regular line. And she's like, I have an idea. What we'll do is I will, um, I'll basically refund you the book and then you can buy it at regular price. <gasps> she messed up. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. I feel bad. I didn't even catch that. Okay. Oh no, Emily. What? That girl messed up. Oh no. Okay. I'm going to continue this story when Emily's done getting gas, I guess. So I just realized something that I didn't even realize until just now, and I'll explain it in the story. So what her idea was, was since she can do refunds, but she doesn't know how to... No, that doesn't make any sense. I don't get it. So she... I was under the impression that she could only do refunds, because she was like, oh, well that's what happened. You got charged the wrong price. I can't help you. I can only help refund people. So then when I went to her, she was like, I have an idea. I'll refund you the book. And then I'll just charge you whatever price it's supposed to be. So she refunds me the book. And then when she goes to charge me, she said, well, this is the price that's popping up, the price you paid. And I'm like, well, I mean, that's not what it says downstairs. And I, I told her, like, I took a picture. But of course, my phone dies at 50% while I'm in line. When I plugged it back in, it, it turned on at 50%. It's because I have a 5S. It's so old. I need a new phone. But anyway, so I'm like, is there any other way I can, like, prove it? Can I run down there and grab the tag? Can I, like, use your phone and take a picture of it? I'd, like, leave my stuff here so you know I'm not going to take your phone. She was like, I'll just go down there and take a picture. So she walks around, and she goes downstairs to go look. And she comes back, and she was like, you were right. And at this point, I'm like, okay, finally, I can just get this over with so I wasn't even thinking and I didn't even realize it until now she refunded me the amount that I paid over so not only did she refund me the book she double refunded me she never charged me again what yes so she gave you what she did was what she did was so the, the book was was supposed to be six dollars and the book was twelve dollars that I paid uh -huh. she gave me back the twelve dollars yeah and then when I came back she did the math and she refunded my card six dollars because she was like oh that's how much you paid over so let me refund you she did it i thought she couldn't even refund me uh, but i was just so happy that things were finally getting over with that i was just like screw it oh uh, the sun is doing so, something so weird. she gave you an extra six dollars basically i got a free book and a free six dollars yes 
I mean, it doesn't matter. That's, There's... Like, that's like reverse quick changing. I didn't do it though, on purpose. Are you gonna go back? Heck no, dollars? that's so far. Oh, he's stealing! For six do... he's for... stealing. I got a free six dollars. <laughs> you know how much Wait, money USF what? makes? The, yeah. This girl, this girl was talking, one of the girls who was in my line, and I told them you can go to her for the refund because I overheard that they needed a refund, and they're like, oh my god, thank you so much. I overheard one of them saying that for her chemistry class, the professor said this book is absolutely mandatory, and in the syllabus it said it was, and this was last semester, and so she bought it, $240 for a textbook, and they never opened it the whole time during... Uh, during class but she took it out of the wrapping because you know she thought they would be using it so she brought it back and she said hey we we don't we're not using this book like two weeks into the semester can i return it and they said no because she opened it she opened the saran wrap or whatever it was man i would have taken a hair dryer to that saran wrap and made that glue re-glue it get my 300 bucks what, back. you know that's crazy though because they take used books i don't get it i guess that's when you rent a new book then they'll be like, okay, since you rented this new book, now it's a used book, and that's what we'll price it as now. I guess that's the only thing I can think of, because why would they not just take back the, the book? I don't know. I'm learning things I never would have learned if I didn't go to college. Like, Nosferatu, he's just a big allegory to homosexuality. Now you know. That's why vampires go for the neck. Of course, he's also an allegory for colonization. Socialism, maybe? No, no, not socialism. He's not an allegory for that. We learned that specifically. The plague, all kinds of things. I'm a film major. Do they know that? Now you guys know. <laughs> Look at Emily do her reverse parking. Look at the focus on on that little girl. I'm gonna focus on her face. I'm right on the line. Are these lines not matched up here? Guess I don't not. Know. They aren't matched up, man. I guess they're staggered. So I gotta do this. Yes, you have to drive. Maybe if you had a booster seat, you'd be able to see. <laughs> that should do it now if you're staggered. Yep. All right. So I guess now we're going to go buy things for Emily because why else would we be at the mall? No denial. I need rehearsal blacks Why is it on Does that hurt? you saw here first this is a youtube channel about how to deal with domestic abuse oh my god oh and she just hit me again that's every oh my this is every day guys help that's me out not. here ouch the only abuse is my cold hands on your face ah oh all right so maybe she'll get blacks maybe she won't and if she does we'll show you yeah i'm gonna go get dressed black because you dragged me here. So I did not drag. International. Mall. Okay, just getting gas took like 15 minutes. No? Yes. The traffic is terrible today. Well, let's stop lollygagging. Let's get yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we'll see you in a second. I knew it.